panah biasa Now I will explain about key partner and cost structure from our company Now I will explain about key partnership In order for RTC which fine arts never had to be able focus on manufacturing the best quality custom emerald canvas we are finding out with few business first is our raw material we receive our canvas from Kuan Yang Art Satinery in Denver because they provide the best quality of canvas that we need we also bought our material from platform Shopee that provide thousands of items in order to making and man manufacture our product such as Webstar, the art shop Shopee, the mix store Shopee for embroidery trade, V card start Shopee and the other shop from Shopee. In order to comfort our customer, our company will collaboration with Art Club, Private Art Gallery at Ilham Art Gallery Kuala Lumpur. It, it because the Ilham Art Gallery is a Finland Anthropic Foundation that can strive to promote our product art. This free art gallery in Kuala Lumpur exhibits a wide range of Asia contemporary and modern painting alongside sculpture and 3D display. Next is the cost structure. The cost structure is the last but not least component of a business model. It's either the most important cost involved in the whole operation from the outset. This is the final block precisely because we need to have all the previous components already defined so we can estimate the cost of each one. This is because creating a value proportion, maintaining a customer relationship and development revenue stream generate cost just as the key resources, activity and partner demand their own expenses. First of cost structure our company need to pay is bank loan. RTC which find art get model from CNB bank by making loan. We are making loan for startup business which is RN40,000 ringgit. This loan need to be paid to the bank every month. Second is rental ratio. Rental ratio based in public Kuala Lumpur and the rental is RM1650 every month. The cost include the electrical bill and the water bill. Lastly, the raw material. Raw material we buy it in bulk so we can reduce the cost such as canvas, articulate color, embroidery, tray, LED brush and the other item for making the item. Assalamualaikum, my name is Fatin Hamnani binti Muhammad Najmi. My metric number is 2019282824. Now I will present customer segment and key resource of business model canvas. Customer segment. Let's find out who is our customer. In this building block, we enter the different customer segments that we will serve. We create more than one persona for each segment we serve. We try to highlight our customers' motivations, problems and capture the essence of who they are. Our first customer target is to children. This is because our product is suitable for all ages and is very suitable for children to be used as a birthday gift. Second is teenagers. Girls always like when their partner become a sweet guy to them and prepare something special on their special day. This gift is limited and different from others. Normally, they always turn the photo into Polaroid, but now we can turn the picture into canvas. It's so unique, more special and also different. Third is adult. They can buy this canvas for their partner. They can also put this canvas on the table besides their bed. It is something different but much more beautiful, unique, creative and aesthetic to decorate their room. The last customer segment our business target is foreigner. Apart from our strategy business location in the art market, our product can also attract tourists with creative, neat and interesting works of art. 
tourists definitely love something unique and rare in their country. It can be used as a souvenir for family members and loved ones. Key Resource What unique strategy activities does our business have or need? This building block describes our most important strategic asset that are required to make our business model work. Number one is physical such as building, raw material and vehicle. Second is intellectual, for example is specialist knowledge. And the last one is human, which is employees. All company need employees to run their business smoothly. Hi, my name is Nani Chefe Binti Momanoa. Now, I will talk about value proposition. Value proposition is specialty of products that we sell to them to make customer want to purchase with us. We will say that our products are very unique and creative because we embroider the canvas to produce the unique products for the customers. We also use thread that can be glued in the dark. This can attract more people to buy our products. Next is captivating. Our product can captivate the customer no matter what ages because the products we sell are very trendy nowadays. Moreover, people like to buy trendy items. Other than that, our product also can be aesthetic because you can keep the embroidery canvas in hanging way or can be put on the wooden stand. That is the perfect way to make your embroidery canvas be more aesthetic. Our product also can be worth to buy because we sell the embroidery canvas at the affordable price. You can give the embroidery canvas as a gift to loved ones. Embroidery canvas can be considered as contemporary art. Many people will get embroidery as a craft rather than an art. Embroidery canvas is an art form that uses a needle, a thread, and other items such as LED and glitter. Lastly, you can buy our products while donating. We will give some of our profit to a charity who are in need. Giving back improve a company's image in the community. Moreover, it can enhance our company image and value and help differentiate the company from others in our market center. Next is revenue streams. Revenue streams are the different sources from which company earns money. It is where our company can gain profit from. Firstly, it's sale of products. We will gain sales by selling our product directly to the customers. Every product is considered as cash profit which is exclude any other cost. Besides, we also gain revenue by advertising. As we use advertising platform to promote and convince the customers why they should buy our product, many people surely be attracted to what we have offered and from that they will buy our products. Last but not least, we can gain revenue from display ad. We display our ads through Google AdSense. AdSense works by matching ads to our site based on our content and visitors. We will be getting paid by displaying our ads to promote the products that we sell. Hi, my name is Isain Afika Binti Kamar Baharin and I would like to give an explanation about the key activities regarding our business model canvas. Let's get started! First, collaboration with professional artists like Ruhizat Muhammad Ali. Who is Ruhizat Muhammad Ali? He is a well-known local painter with more than 30 years experience in the creative arts field and currently has been a leader in the noble effort of producing giant murals around Kuala Lumpur through his company ENM Services so that it has become an attraction for local and foreign visitors. The second key activity is quick fulfillment process since our business is available almost every day except Friday. 
Third, just-in-time delivery and shipping system allowing for couriers to deliver orders within one to two days. Fourth, overseas shipping or international express delivery services, which we are now offering shipping to Singapore, Brunei, and Vietnam. Hence, this is also a great way to grow our business. In this channel segment, let's see how our business products are delivered to the market easily, quickly, and legally. Aligned to our business plan, we choose and use online platforms as our channels such as Instagram, Shopee, Lazada, website, and Facebook. As well as important, we also use the kiosk or the ground floor of our building specifically for customers who want to make a reservation or pick up their custom embroidery canvas on a walk-in or offline basic. Hi, my name is Dratumawa Devinti Rohizan and I am the presenter for Customer Relationship in Business Model Canvas. Customer relationship refers to the process used by businesses to engage with customers and foster long-term relationships with them. Right from assisting customers with their day-to-day -day queries to creating long-term policies that lead to customer success. Customer relationship encompasses a lot of activities. When done right, it can lead to positive outcomes such as higher customer retention, increased customer lifetime value, and stronger customer relationship. Next slide is get advertising through social media ads and online platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Shopee, and Lazada. We also put our banner at our kiosk. Next skip. First, excellent customer service such as clear communication, friendly attitude, reliable, and well timed. Second, proactive communication can help our business build trust and avoid future issues. To practice proactive communication, regularly update customers about the status of their issue, report any unusual activity in their account, share industry news and trends via newsletters and so on. Third, apologize when needed. In order to improve our relationship with customers and avoid losing them, we have to make it a point to apologize outright every time we commit a mistake or let down a customer. But, take customer feedback and act on it. Capturing customer feedback at key customer touch points is one of the top techniques to build customer relationships. For strengthening our relationship, we need to share surveys or web forms to understand what we are doing well and what needs to improvement. That's all for me. Thank you.